Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk you through the process of me painting this little painting from the Flinders Ranges in South Australia. I began by just doing a simple blue fading to a light greeny white color because I just wanted a really simple sky. And then I went in adding the horizon line and building up the mountain shape with light and dark blue colors. And in the beginning, I just wanted to get a basic colors down, not worry too much about placement of things, but get blocks of color in there with the rough colors that I wanted for those sections. And this is something I'm trying to do more of in my paintings. I'm trying to be more impressionist with my brush strokes and uh, worry less about showing detail the paintings looking exactly like the subject i want to be more free and paint with my emotions more and paint what i feel and what colors inspire me i feel like this painting is a good step in that direction for me because especially this rock section that i'm painting now i was really enjoying just like roughly getting in the shapes and like color blocking and I feel like it's, it's different to how I usually would paint and I was having a really fun time doing these shapes and textures. And it's definitely something I wanna explore more. And I just love the colors in this painting because you've got the, the browns and the rocks in the foreground and then it just fades to a light blue background. There's a lot of depth in this painting. There's actually kind of a funny story about this painting earlier this year i went on a road trip with my friend and we went to the flinders ranges and we decided that we wanted to go on this hike and it's the highest point in the flinders ranges so it's quite a long hike but we didn't get there until maybe 11 a.m and you're actually meant to not leave for this hike after i think it was 10 a.m and we, we didn't really notice that at the time but we decided to go anyway and there's two routes you can take you can go inside the ranges which is a longer hike but it's a slow incline or you can go to the outside which is shorter but it's straight up so we decided to go outside because we were running late and it's a quicker route and not as long so we figured it'd be all right and we did that and it was so hard it was so steep but we finally made it to the top and got this spectacular view it was amazing it was all so worth it but it was already really late in the day so we were tossing up which way to go home so we could go the long not so steep route or we could go back down the way we came which our legs were already so tired so we thought that it would be easier on our legs to go the long way and um, that turned out to be an, another 11 kilometers home or back to our van um so Ultimately, it probably wasn't the best decision and we didn't get home until it was dark and we were starving and had run out of water <laughs> and uh, yeah, we were so tired and sore, but we made it and we had a great time and it just goes to show that you really can push your body through things that you don't think that they can do. I think it ended out to be about 22 kilometers um which is i think the most i've ever done in one day and it was up a huge mountain so i was pretty proud of myself for that and we were also planning to try and go on another hike the next day but no nah, <laughs> legs were too sore for that so we just drove to our next location and <laughs> continued along our road trip <laughs> but honestly i will never forget being at the top of that mountain and looking out into the distance to these mountains and feeling so high it was so good i know i'm going to do more paintings from this view because the feeling i got up there was so good so for this painting, I had a lot of layers and building up um, small little brush strokes to get more detail. I find that I do this a lot more when I'm using acrylics because it's um, much simpler to layer. 
because it dries so quickly and they don't mix together like the, like oil paints would. So I feel like practicing like this with acrylics is a good way to be more impressionist with my brush strokes, which is something I'm gonna take into account with my paintings moving forward. But yeah, this is my Flinders Ranges, a small little painting from the top of St. Mary's Peak in South Australia. Um, I hope you enjoyed the process and the little story about me hiking <laughs> with my friend. <laughs> I'm really enjoying talking about my process and the things that I'm learning while painting and how the way I think about my paintings is evolving and how I want to paint is evolving and I think it'll be a really interesting way to see how I evolve as an artist. Thank you so much guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Bye.